Greeting and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. I hope everyone had a wonderful Halloween. A little bit upset, no one gave out any trains trick-or-treating, and I got some looks for asking. But hey, you know, it is what it is. And we got some brand new items uh, that hopefully will find their way on your layout today. And we're going to start with some HO diesel locomotives that we call new old stock. Check out these Walther Proto GP7s. I got two different variations to show you here. I got the Erie Lackawanna, and I've always loved that paint scheme. And then another great paint scheme here is the Chessie system. And these are just two beautiful looking diesel locomotives. Like as you can see, even though they're both classified as the same engine, we got different variations such as the bell up front here. As a matter of fact, I have this engine facing in the correct uh, direction going that way. And if you take a look at the people inside, you can see they're facing that way, which is the way that the Chessie ran these locomotives. Whereas if I take a look at the Erie Lackawanna, you're going to see that the drivers are facing that way, which means that they ran with the cab in the back. So that is just a neat little variation that Walters did on these diesel locomotives. As you can see, I have different um, detailing on the Chessie that I do with the Erie Lackawanna and vice versa. Now, as I said, that these are what we call new old size. So these aren't new locomotives, but we found them in our warehouse. And we're like, you know what? We got to get these on our website because they deserve a home. They are fantastic diesel locomotives. Walters does a great job. And just like we like to do, or at least what I like to do, we're going to listen to what these diesel engines sound like in action. So all aboard. We're going to hear what these diesel engines sound like. They come equipped with Lock Sound 5. So let's hear what they sound like. We got both of them hooked up together. All right, here are the horns. Go board. Alright, now I'm going to reverse them, and one of the things I want you to take a look at is I want you to take a look at the light, and when they change the direction, it's not going to come on instantly, it's going to fade in. Check that out. I like that. A lot of times we run diesels and they just instantly go on. This is more realistic. Cool. So those are great sounding diesel locomotives. I think you really got to like them. One of my favorite types of freight diesels are the GP7s. So I think you're really going to like these. Now they retail for $299.99. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $269.99. It's a great deal for a great looking diesel locomotive. The Chessie, I actually have two different row numbers. So if you want to double head them, I've got two different variations for you to pick. And I just have one of the Erie Lackawanna. But these are great diesels. We have a couple of them left. You probably cannot find these around in uh, too many areas. So come into our website say yankeedabboy.com type in gp7 either chessie or eli Kawana, and get that in your cart today i'm pulling some trains on your layout so we tend to do this from time to time we've been doing the show for over a year now and we're going to answer some viewer mail that you guys have sent in all right so let's take a look at this first one dear dj love the show can you please stop singing though it bleeds my ears and i don't okay no. No, I'll gotta be nice, I guess. All right. Ah, uh, here you go. Dear DJ, love the show. Please stop sick. Okay. Ah, uh, here we are. Let's see. Dear DJ, ah, very good. Love the show. We love the N scale Trinity reefers. 
please review them when they come out in HO. Well, we actually do have them in HO, so let's check out these Atlas 60 foot Trinity refer refrigerator cars. Check these out here. As you can see here, I have the same variations that I did for the N scale ones. I had the Union Pacific. I got the let's get naked. Oh, wait, no, that's a drink. Sorry, I get confused. And finally, I got the Tropicana, and these are just exquisite looking cars. As you can see, I got amazing detail on these. Everything from the etch walkways to the refrigerated units that are on there. All the detailing with all the different numbers, the uh, reflective bands, everything that you want. These are just some really cool looking cars. I really am enjoying these. And the neat thing about these is I have a multitude of different numbers. So if I want to get a whole bunch of different Tropicana cars and put them all together, I can do that. You know, one of the neat things about these cars, too, is they design it with the logos and all the numbers up top. So if you ever see these cars with graffiti, those numbers aren't impeded there, which is really neat to say. So, I mean, these are those really cool looking cars. These are not cars that you usually see done in HR and scale. So the fact that we got these now with the roller bearings that are actually colored. I mean, these are just really cool. I like the little brake design there. And, ooh, metal couplers. You know how I feel about that. These are fantastic. So these cars retail for $52.95, but we're actually selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $39.99. That's a great deal to have on a car that not too many manufacturers make, and this is just a great design. I think you're really going to enjoy these. And, hey, I think these cars will probably look good with maybe those GP7s that we just saw. Hmm. Thought? Maybe. Check it out. If you're looking for some cars to transport some ballast that you need to ballast your rails, we got these new cars from Bowser, these 70 ton ballast hopper cars. And check out these guys here. I think you're going to like them here. Got the Alaska. I haven't seen too many Alaskas that we've reviewed here, so that is a great looking design there. I got the Chicago and Northwestern. And finally, I have the Conrail. And I have a bunch of different numbers for these uh, different types of cars there. I like the dull, the, uh, the paint schemes and the variations. These are really cool looking cars. I don't see a ton of Bowser stuff that we do on the show. We're going to start doing some more Bowser stuff because they do a great job as well. And I think you're really going to like these cars. They retail for $29.95. We're selling them here for $23.99. I think that is a tremendous deal for a uh, really nice looking car. I do like the wheels that you have on here. And, uh, you know, again, it's just... We have too many good rolling stock items for you to have. So I guess, you know, you got to make up your mind. But I think if you are looking for a different car, we haven't done any ballast cars. I think these are definitely a winner. So go on our website, yankeedabler.com, type in ballast cars, and get these rolling on your layout today. We are now traveling back to N-Scale Land. A lot of people like N-Scale Land. And we're going to take a look at some new rolling stock items that hopefully will be pulling some N-Scale trains on your layout. Let's go to the track, shall we? And we're going to start out with these Golden West Service weather two-pack uh, two weathered covered hoppers from Micro Trains. And these are really cool looking cars here. As you can see, I have the weather design here. Uh, as you can see, take a look at the top there. You see the, how the weathering has done this toll on these cars here. They are incredibly detailed. And for the, any, any of those out there that do a lot of weathering on your cars now, that's a lot of effort. Well, the effort is already done for you. These hopper cars here are selling for $74.95. And again, you got the weathering aspect. You got micro trains. Uh, you got a high-end item here. But we're selling these for $59.96. Great two pack if you want to add some what are realistic looking cars to your uh, track. These are really good ones to look at. I like the patchwork that they did with the different types of numbers there. That is really great looking stuff there. Continuing with the weather theme, and now we have some different style hopper cars here. These are the Virginian, if you can still see them. Again, these are weathered two pack from Micro Trains. I really like these cars here because I think they look really cool. They look like they are specifically used for calling, uh, hauling call in the Virginia mountains. I think you're really going to like those. These hopper cars here are selling for $59.95. And again, you're paying for the weathering aspect. You're paying for the name. But it is a high-quality car. But we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $47.96. 
if you want to go with a, a hopper, uh, you know, a, a cold type of train there, I think that is a cool way to go there. Or even maybe go with the cover hoppers and just make a really long hopper train that is nice and wettered and grimy, just like the real world is, unfortunately. For all you circus fans out there, I got some uh, really cool looking cars here. And I, I had to pull these out because I, I think these are just really neat looking cars. We got the greatest show on earth and the Ringling Bros and Barnum and Bailey circus cars. One is the baggage car, of course. And then we have the parlor car here as well. So if you want to go back in time when the circus used to run by the rails and they had a little bit of color to them, I really recommend these cars here. Especially if you take a look at this baggage car here, you're going to see this uh, a tremendous amount of writing, um, you know, detailing, showcasing the greatest show on earth. I mean, that is such an iconic phrase, especially with uh, the circus and the circus train really was a part of railroading history so i think those are really great looking cars here both of those cars retail for 33.95 we're selling them for 29.99 it's a great deal to have on a uh, on your train throw a little circus car in there i think it's definitely a conversation piece and then finally we have a car worthy of a cause here we have the ttx breast cancer awareness high cube box car and this is fantastic if you take a look at here you can see just the tremendous amount of detailing. You see the breast cancer wearing this ribbon on there. Uh, joined for a QR. It is, I'm sorry, track for a QR. It is just such a great looking car. And it, it's definitely a car that means something. And if you ever had anyone that was affected by breast cancer or you know someone, you know uh, how important it is to raise awareness, to raise money for the research to get uh you know people cured of that disease now this particular car here sells for 59.95 we're selling it for 47.96 now it might seem like a little bit of money for a simple hobby cube box car but micro trains is donating a proceeds of the uh money that they make from that car to go to breast cancer awareness so i think that is a very worthy car so if you want to help you know get on track for a cure you want to get a nice car that helps commemorate uh, those people who are fighting that fight right now. I think that is a fantastic car to get on your layout. And all of these cars are available on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in the name of the car. You're going to see them up there. But if you're interested in some of these, especially the circus cars, better act fast because I only have a couple of them. And once they're gone, unfortunately, they're gone. So act quick. Get them on your layout now. Your singing made my baby cry. My cat sounds better than you. Oh, here you go. An actual legit one. Hey, we like the show, but we would like to see some more N-scale diesel locomotives. P.S. Your singing's really bad. Anyway, we have some new Atlas S2 switchers that we were got to take a look at. So let's check out these puppies. And these are Alco S2s from Atlas. These are part of the Gold Series here. As you can see, these are really great looking diesel locomotives. I have always been a fan of the switcher diesel lo locomotives, and I think you're really going to like them. I have a couple of different ones here. For example, I have here, if I can actually read what it says, it says the Great Western. I have here the Southern Pacific, and I love the bloody nose look. I think that's really cool. We got the Canadian National. We have here the Lehigh and New England. Sticking up north, we have the Maine Central. And then finally, rounding it out, we got the Erie. And I really like these diesel locomotives. And these are really nicely designed engines. As you can see here, I actually have an all die cast metal body, which is great. I mean, you know, to have an end scale that has a little bit of meat to it, but it is a small diesel locomotive. And to have a metal body on that, I think that is really cool. As you can see there, just have a tremendous amount of detailing for an end scale item. I love the paint scheme there. These come equipped with ESU sound, DCC, all the fun refinements that you would want. Like I even have a little builder's play right there if you can actually see into that. Might need a magnifying glass for that one. But it's there, and this is just a really cool looking engine. And I think if you're an N scale uh, model railroader and you are looking for a diesel switcher to put on your layout, I think this is the one that you want to go with because I think these are really cool looking engines. And well, don't take my word for it. We're going to. Start her up and see what they sound like. So Main Central is not a road name that we see that often on our show. So I figured let's run it and see what it sounds like. So here are the sounds. All right, there is the Alco sound. Let's take a listen to the horn.
Here is the bell. And away I go. Back her up. And let's pick up a trail on here. All aboard. Now arriving on track number one. The I ate too much candy for Halloween. That may or may not be true. All right, so these particular diesel locomotives retail for two thirty nine ninety five, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for one seventy nine ninety nine. As you can see, it's a quality item there. It has a lot of uh, a really good build to it. It sounds great. It looks great. It pulls a lot. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Get one of these engines on your layout today before, while well, you see them on some of these else's layout, and you're thinking, I should have got that. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the items that we had for you to show today here at Yankee Dabbler. And I know that probably one of these items spoke to you. So make sure that you don't wait too long before, well, as I said, it goes rolling off of someone else's lap. And you're thinking, should have got that. That's happened to me once or twice or 23 times. Anyway, so our next show that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be our fall. Leia Extravaganza! I'm going to be so happy to stop saying that, but it's going to be awesome. We have a bunch of different layouts that we're going to showcase you with a bunch of different gauges. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a little hint. Engineer Hall, myself, or Rod Stewart. One of those people didn't give us a video. I'll let you figure out which one. It may surprise you. Or not. Anyhow, but I think you're really going to enjoy it. Um, we're going to be having a little bit of fun taking a look at your layouts, and uh, it's just going to be fun. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That will be our next show after this one, all right? So anything that you saw today, please go on to yankeedabbler.com, type in what you're looking for, and, of course, you can always use that engineer hall discount and save an additional 5% off your order. I think that is money well saved that you can spend on, hopefully, other trains, all right? So thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to conclude... With this week's Railfan video, we're going to go all the way. We're going to go old school. We're going to go to the Northern Central Railway in New Freedom, uh, Pennsylvania. We're going to be taking a look at their 440 American replica, the number 17 York, going down the track. Enjoy, everyone. Take care. Now, if you excuse me, i got to get ready for the fall land of the extravaganza. It's going to be awesome. You know what? In fact, I think I hear a song coming on. Oh...